Hi, Virtually VGCMC. I'm Miss Christina, and happy Women's History Month. To celebrate Women's History Month, I thought I would introduce you all to a famous woman in the acting community. Her name is Stella Adler. There is a Stella Adler acting studio in New York, if you're on the East Coast, and a Stella Adler acting studio in Los Angeles, um, where I am on the West Coast. And so she has her own method of acting, which means she created her own approach and way to go about acting on stage. It mainly applies for theater, but it's based solely in imagination and creating um, circumstances um, and, and pictures and scenes in your mind. Instead of using anything that you've experienced in your own life, you get to create it all from scratch. So that's really what Stella Adler believed in. Um, there's a blog post on it as well for the month of March. So you can um, go to that and see all of the bullets, the step-by-steps of what makes her acting method her acting method, but mainly it has to do with imagination. So I thought I would show you guys um, two exercises that are famous from the Stella Adler community. Um, they are object-based um, and then another one is paraphrasing. So the object-based exercise is a little similar to um, scavenger hunts that we've done in class or just anything um, improv related. It's kind of um, coming up with something on the spot, but you do have kind of a source of um, inspiration. So she lets you pick an object. You can pick any object as long as it's safe, appropriate. Um, I was just looking around my kitchen and I found some hot sauce. So her, her mission for this is to let the object kind of speak to you. And the more that you do this, the more your creative muscles will um, become stronger and you'll be able to kind of see anything and draw inspiration from it to help you with a character, to help you understand your character's emotions, and to help you maybe um, act out a scene that you find a little difficult. If you pick one thing, you kind of focus on it. Um, you might be able to find something personal in it that speaks to you. Um, and the point is that it could be anything because we're using our imagination. Um, she uses an example of, if you're looking at a pair of earrings and um, they're a certain jade color or something like that. And the, the, the diamond reminds you, uh, the color is just so beautifully blue and it reminds you of a time that you went to the beach with your family. That's something that's personal and specific to you. And so when you're looking at it, the earrings, um, that's her example anyway, that it, it, it makes her feel a certain way because she's thinking of that specific memory. So I mentioned the color of the earrings. Um, that's one thing that you kind of want to expand upon. Think of the color of your object. Think of the texture, how it feels. Think of the shape. Um, does, does those things kind of, when you ask those questions to yourself, can you think of anything in your head that you can expand upon a little bit? So I'll do my example. I love hot sauce. So I just went in my kitchen and I picked this out um, and it looks, you know, typical bottle size. It, it could remind me um, of a time where I've been in an antique shop and I've been looking with my mom at little trinkets and things like that. So we love to go to those shops together. So it's making me think of her a little bit. Um, it's got the beautiful, obviously, red color here, which is not quite red and it's not quite orange either. And it looks like there's little specks inside of it too. And it's such a bright, red. It's kind of reminding me of mountains when the sun hits them um, right at sunset. And, and I'm from Arizona. And so when I think of the mountains at sunset, sometimes they can be fiery red, really, really pretty. And the sun is setting. And so it's kind of reminding me of a sunset as well. And then I'm looking at the, the top here and it has chilies, garlic, tomatoes, and, and just a little bit of green leaves and stuff like that. So it's reminding me of a vegetable garden, which makes me think of summer. It doesn't have to be specific or anything. It just reminds me of summer. Um, and the goal is to really just keep looking at the object, your specific object, and think of all of these um, things that stand out to you about it. Um, and let your mind wander. Uh, that's, that's a good thing. That's the point. Um, and just see 
every little detail that you can. Um, and it doesn't have to be um, anything amazing. There is actually no right answer um, because it's totally up to you. Um, and so if I were to do this with another object, I would pick out color, texture, shape, and I would think about um, what speaks to me from those things. So the more you do the object observation exercise, and it's also really helpful to speak it out loud, maybe to a friend, parent, cousin, um, or if you wanna even just put yourself on, on camera like this, speaking it out loud will really help as well. It helps build confidence um, with just like speaking on the spot when there's, when there's no dialogue. Um, so the more you do this, the more your imagination will also kick in on stage because you're training that muscle. The other Stella Adler exercise is about paraphrasing. And uh, if you don't know what paraphrasing is, it's kind of um, taking something that's uh, already written down and putting it in your own words. So for this exercise, you can think of the, an idea from your favorite book, or could even be a TV show, or a movie, or a poem, or video game, just something that um, you love and you know it so well, and so you have a very clear idea of it. And so, what you want to do is you want to have that clear vision in your head um, and then again you want to speak it out loud so just like i was saying before the other exercise you could speak it to a friend parent or even just put yourself on camera like i am now and you're going to speak it to your audience you're going to speak it confidently um, and proudly and it doesn't have to be um, straight from a source or anything like that like i was saying it's your own words so I'm thinking about Percy Jackson and the Olympians because we're reading that in uh, one of our book club classes. So in my own words, even though it's my first time reading the book and we're about halfway through, in my own words, the character of Percy um, is very determined and he's also extremely misunderstood and he's, he's looking for um, an outlet that he feels like he can belong to. He's hoping that Grover and Annabeth will be good friends to him and he's nervous to go on this journey, but he also feels a little better because now he knows maybe why he was feeling so anxious at school and like he wasn't fitting in there at all and he had been through multiple schools. So now this answer is presented to him and even though the quest feels scary and, and not safe and, you know, out of this world, he feels like he has more of a purpose and so he's going to go on the journey and um, we'll see what happens from there. So that was just me thinking of Percy Jackson off the top of my head and paraphrasing it out loud. So I'm understanding the idea of Percy Jackson, I'm responding to it in my mind and then I am living through it when I present it out loud. What's also really important is that I'm making it my own, just like if I was to play Percy Jackson um, one day if it ever became uh, a play or anything like that, then I would want to be able to make it my own and feel like I was making choices that felt right for my version of Percy. So this is a really helpful exercise if you want to get into acting. Stella Adler encourages you to, to bring your own personal flair and personality to a character and so when you paraphrase something that you love and you think about it and you understand it and then you present it, you know, your version, that's really special. Um, and that's something that you should totally take pride in. So if you're interested in learning more about Stella Adler, you can check out our blog post to go along with Women's History Month. Um, and there's also a, a book um, that she wrote about her own acting, acting method. And um, I found it a really great entry way into learning more about um, acting and how to tangibly just kind of train my mind and body to feel confident and also comfortable um, being creative because sometimes I think it can be a little scary just putting yourself out there and um, like we do an improv coming up with things on the spot is vulnerable um, but I want you to know that your imagination is your own and that's what makes it so special and other people will respond to that positively when you share it as well because it can make they them think of something that they relate to. Um, I know when I watch other people on stage and, and I connect with them, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful to be experiencing that um, because I can tell that 
they're really enjoying themselves and, and, and they care so much about what they're doing. Um, and so as an audience member, I really respond to that. Um, so yeah, check out Stella Adler blog post. Um, and if you want to learn more about her, you can check out her book as well. And happen, happy Women's History Month.